We now return to Etc. 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 And here's your host, Nicole Jacinto. Welcome back, folks. And today we're smoking. I'm just kidding. We're not smoking. It we're smoking is hot. W- yeah, we're smoking hot. It is World No Tobacco Day. Uh, Emmer had to uh, leave us for another appointment, but. Uh, Dr. Dorotheo is here, Dr. Ulysses Dorotheo, and he prefers to be called Doc Yule. Yes. You know Doc Yule? Oh, and with that voice, you remind me of Yule Brynner, who was in that movie, The Magnificent Seven, Yes, and which we were just he, talking about. Yes, because it was the theme song for the Marlboro yes, commercials. That's right. Uh, fortunately, Yule Brynner mm-hmm. became an anti-smoking advocate on he his did? deathbed. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. He actually taped a video yes. uh, that was played in the U.S., Advising people not to smoke. I think when did he, he died in ninety four? No, I think ninety four or ninety five. Yes, I think so. And he died of cancer actually. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. he became an anti smoking advocate. Yeah. Okay, so we were talking. Actually, you know, let's since we already talked about movies and movie images, you were just saying earlier uh, over the break that you were you were reminding you were, you you mentioned you remarked that um, that when we were growing up uh, you never if you watched movies you would never see anyone who was sick from smoking mm-hmm. it was always like as Emmer said they're in the middle of the war you know, it's, there's always action associated with it and glamour and let's get to talking a little bit about um, the images of smoking that are out there uh, that are put out there the advertising and what uh, what you and your, your group is doing to kind of address this to counteract it well <laughs> You know, that's the whole reason behind banning advertising and mm-hmm. promotions of tobacco. Nobody ever sees pictures you know, of people who are sick, you mm-hmm. know, people who have heart disease or lung disease or mm-hmm. cancer. Because everybody would then realize, oh, this is how we're going to end up if mm-hmm. we're smoking. So many countries now have banned TV ads, radio mm-hmm. ads, uh, print ads. And we've done this in the Philippines, uh, mm-hmm. fortunately, over the past few years. We don't have uh, TV ads anymore no with smoking. Yes. That's right. And it's a big relief. No? Yes, because, it is. Because uh, I remember growing up, you know, we were talking about this earlier, that uh, it's on TV, it's in your face, mm-hmm. prime time, before the news, after the news, during the news. Yes. You know? yeah. And they also had, uh, they also played to our colonial mentality. Did you ever see those commercials, Terry? Like, Which ones? Uh, well, for example, the they Spirit had, of the USA. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. And then they had Champion. They were on yachts. And and more yes. international. They were traveling. Yes. They were having more the, international. Good, you know, the good life. Yeah, they were having the good life. And then there's always a cigarette associated with it. Young yeah. people, healthy-looking mm-hmm. young yeah. people, having fun. Good-looking. Good looking, Very good-looking. Rich yes. people having fun. Successful. You know, kind of, yes, yeah. yeah. It was part of an image. And we unconsciously just absorbed this and didn't associate negative things with smoking. But it was very intentional. The tobacco industry knew that mm-hmm. was the way they would hook young people to smoke. Mm-hmm. Uh, encourages Amazing. you to smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By the way, I have to say that you are the winner of the 2011 Judy Wilkenfield Award for International Tobacco Control Excellence. And you are the first Filipino and Asian to win this award. Yes. Can you tell us a little um, bit ab- about this award and what it, you know, what it represents? Wh- wh- how, how, what's the ca- how do they choose the winners of this award? Well, Judy Wilkenfield uh, mm-hmm. used to work um, with the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, which mm-hmm. is an NGO in the U.S., uh, she also used to work for the U.S. government uh, in public health mm-hmm. and was involved with the Framework Convention Tobacco Control. This is an international treaty on tobacco mm-hmm. uh, during its early years. No? Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, she developed uh, cancer and died a few years ago. Okay. And so in her memory, her family and the Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids has set up an award. She worked against... Uh, against smoking. Against smoking. Yes. Did, did she ever smoke? Um, that I don't know. Okay. But I know that she was a very passionate anti-smoking okay. advocate. And people who knew her, uh, I met her a couple of times, mm-hmm. very briefly. Uh, she was very, um, how should you say this? Uh, the part of the award mm-hmm. is given to advocates who not only work on policy advocacy for tobacco, but also people who can bring people together so that they work mm-hmm. uh, in uh, very, very closely yeah. Uh, towards developing the anti-smoking mm-hmm. advocacy. And I wanted to highlight the the award because you know uh, early earlier you, know, you were you were mentioned you mentioned some awards that people receive and we never really hear of awards uh, for people who go out and do things like it's not it's not a sexy thing to go out and advocate not smoking, is it? <laughs> it's not very sexy to say I am a non-smoking advocate da 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 and they think you're like some kind of 
not Bible thumper, whatever. You know, that, that kind of image. It's very hard to convince people to join you. Yes, yeah. yes. It's not a sexy thing, but it's a really, it's something that really takes a lot of effort, commitment, and it's more commendable than some of these awards that are given out for, oh, whatever, new best new business, who cares? I mean, well, you know, okay, I'm not trying to put them down. I'm just saying that this is something, I wish that we would have more awards like this. Like, do you have an award for people who go out and, and you know, really spend time with the sick? and with those who are alone and and do we have an award for people who go out and try to help people who are depressed and get them to be happy and <laughs> this is one of those things to go out and really um as i say i'm a sinner a smoker you know what i mean and i'm confessing but uh it i if i i wouldn't encourage anyone to do it and i will really try to you know eradicate next it time i'm here yes i hope Oh, you better come back next year. Give me at least a year for it to completely eradicate that. But, um, you know, but, you know it, it's very good that you bring up the award because mm -hmm. when I accepted the award, mm -hmm. I did say that the award is not just for me. Mm -hmm. It's really for all of the advocates who've been working. Mm -hmm. um, before, we had been sp uh, talking about how many people had been working in tobacco control mm -hmm. in the Philippines. No? So, like a decade ago, we were maybe a dozen people. Mm -hmm. uh, and half of the room was people in the OH. You know, very yes, few people yes. in civil society. But today, uh, I just came from the DOH Red Orchid Awards. Mm -hmm. These are awards given to local government units, government mm -hmm. offices, uh, DOH uh, regional offices, who have worked over the past year to develop a tobacco-free environment, mm -hmm. which means not just the smoke-free uh, indoor places, but also to get rid of tobacco advertising, to encourage people to stop smoking, to get the message out there. Mm -hmm. And this was um, just a few hours ago at Crown Plaza in Ortigas. Mm -hmm. The ballroom was full. Mm -hmm. There were 500 people. And it was really encouraging, really inspiring. To see the number grow. To see no? the number. And not only that, but when the awardees were called, mm -hmm. the awardees felt so happy that they mm -hmm. were able to uh, accomplish something and they were acknowledged for it. Yes. Yeah. And that's what's important, you know, we see the progress we've made over the years. Mm -hmm.